going to address both uh, the Brewer and Horn situation um, and uh, the ethnic studies. Thank you, uh, Carlos. Uh, for the record, my name is Steve Gallardo, uh, State Senator from District 13, uh, Southwest Phoenix. And folks, uh, real quickly, I, I, I do stand with uh, the, the community of Tucson in support of the Ethnic Studies Program in the city of Tucson. Uh, this, is, this is a personal attack by, by Attorney General Tom Horn. Since he became uh, the uh, super, or state superintendent uh, to now the Attorney General. He has had a personal attack on, on the education of, of Latinos. Uh, it has first started off with his, with his support of uh, the anti-bilingual education program. It has moved to his support on Senate Bill 1070 and now uh, the Ethnic Studies Program. Folks, the, 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 the fact is this. We have a very successful program that statistics show that students have been very successful in their other courses when they do take this type of, of program. You looked at some of those folks that are a uh, product of learning about the, the uh, Mexican American culture. Uh, folks like uh, Senator Alfredo Gutierrez, uh, Minority Leader John Laredo, Lito Peña, myself, we are all products of, of similar types of programs, learning our history, understanding uh, what our culture has, has went through and, and the issues facing our, 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 our culture. And now we have uh, an attorney general who's on a mission to attack this particular program, a program that continues to develop leadership within the Latino community, continues to educate Latinos, and we now have an, an attorney general that continues to want to push this until he, he eliminates it. What are, what are you afraid of, Mr. Mr. Horn? What are you afraid of? An educated uh, uh, Hispanic community? Is that what you're afraid of? Uh, it's unfortunate that we have to be here at the state senate uh, fighting and having this type of conversation in regards to an education program. I, I serve on a school board and some of the issues that we face on school boards are truancy. It's how, how do we get students more engaged in our curriculum and our classes. We have a program now that students want to attend. They're doing everything they can to keep this type of program. They're fighting to stay in a classroom. It is a total opposite in Tucson Unified School District. While other school districts are fighting truancy, we have students who are fighting to stay in a classroom and learn a particular subject. So we also call on Mr. Hoopenthal to do the right thing, allow this program to continue, and I would encourage other school districts to follow the, the, uh, the, uh, the direction of Tucson Unified School District and adopt uh, an ethnic studies program as well. Uh, students should learn not only about the Latino community, they should also be learning about uh, the African American history. They should learn about Native American history. We should be uh, inviting our students to take courses in every different segment of our society. And I, I think that is what America is about. It's a, it's a melting pot of different cultures, and we should do everything we can to educate our, our, our students throughout the state of Arizona. Now going to uh, Senate Bill 1070, uh, earlier, you probably already know, uh, Governor Brewer, along with Attorney General Tom Horn, have decided to, uh, to take it to the next step, and that is uh, uh, appeal directly to the U.S. Supreme Court and have them actually render an actual decision. Uh, it's unfortunate that the governor continues to push this issue. It has, one, divided our state. It has, two, hurt our economy. Uh, you ask anyone with any of the chambers of commerce, they will tell you that Senate Bill 1070 has hurt Arizona's economy. As we struggle here at the legislature to continue to move Arizona's economies forward, uh, we continue to try to do what we can to bring new jobs to the state of Arizona, new businesses to the state of Arizona. Pushing this issue to the U.S. Supreme Court is not helping us move Arizona forward. It's not helping us move the economy. Uh, so it's unfortunate they continue to want to push this issue. Uh, however, there's a part of me that looks forward to the U.S. Supreme Court uh, from ending this particular uh, bill altogether. Uh, you have seen two decisions that have pretty much came out stating that uh, this bill is, portions of this bill is unconstitutional, and it's now time to put an end to Senate Bill 1070. Uh, although it continues to hurt Arizona's economy, it continues to, to increase attorney fees, and folks, I understand the governor has her legal defense fund, but that money is used to pay Snell and Warmer. It's not paying Attorney General Tom Horn. 
Uh, I'm not even sure who's paying uh, Senator Russell Pierce's legal bills now, now that he's intervened into the, to, to, to the mix. But there's a lot of attorneys involved and it's costing the state a lot of money to actually defend this bill that has divided this state, it has ripped this state apart, and it continues to hurt Arizona, Arizona's economy. I'm saddened to see that the governor does want to go in that direction. Uh, on the other hand, there's a part of me that says, you know what, let's put an end to this type of legislation. Uh, we have overstepped our bounds here at the state Senate by, by passing Senate Bill 1070. We have now moved in the territory that the federal government's responsible. If anything, this legislature and this governor, including Attorney General Tom Horn, should be standing united, Republicans and Democrats putting pressure on our congressional delegations to finally do something. We should be putting pressure on President Obama to do something, take up their responsibility. Let's come up with a bill that deals with every aspect of, of illegal immigration. That's the only way we are going to solve this problem in, in this state and in this country. The members of this Senate and, and the governor of the state of Arizona cannot fix a federal problem. As much as they want to believe so, it's not. I was at a, I was at a conference just this past weekend about uh, immigration solution. It was bipartisan. And I'm not going to name out the senators, but you look at the senators and, and representatives that were there. They're from both sides of the aisle. And we, we were there talking about the impact of the immigration bills have had on Arizona and the economy and the impact that it has had on us moving Arizona forward. It was, if anything, a united voice that this is a federal issue and the federal government, government needs to do something. And, and I would hope that the governor takes a step back, uh, reconsiders filing with the U.S. Supreme Court, and let's do what we can to put pressure on where the pressure should be, and that's the federal government and President Obama to finally do something in terms of illegal immigration. Senator Gowdy, you said that you in some ways looked forward to this having a decision, but with the current political makeup of the Supreme Court and with recent decisions going straight down party lines, it's likely that they would rule in favor of the governor and in favor of Russell Pierce. Are you worried about that? Do you believe that will happen? No, I, 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 I'm, I'm not concerned about that. I, 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 I really don't. I'm not, I'm not concerned that, the, that this is going to be uh, based on party affiliation. This is going to be based on what's in the best interest of this country. Do we want 50 states introducing, sim introducing their own immigration measure? And I would venture out to say that every member of Congress, including the president and, and all, all, all members, regardless of party affiliation, would agree that no, we do not want 50 different versions of immigration law in, in this country. And I, 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 I think the U.S. Supreme Court will rule that it is not uh, the preview of the state legislature and the governor to introduce our own immigration laws. It's up to the federal government to Why indicate that. I, I would I would be very interested to see what the U.S. Supreme Court does with employer sanctions. We're still waiting a decision. We hopefully would have a decision in the next couple of months. I think I think that's what the legal the legal fees are telling me that in the next couple of months we should have a decision from the U.S. Supreme Court on Arizona's employer sanctions bill. And uh, I think you'll find that that particular bill is also struck down. Well, look, let's go back to TUSD. I found it fascinating, as somebody who knows who Lito Pena is, and Alfredo Gutierrez, that somehow they managed to learn their culture without an ethnic studies program, without even going to TUSD. You're on a school board, I don't see an ethnic studies program. What's wrong with what TUSD wants to do and make it an elective? What's wrong with that? It, it, it's, not, it's not just taking a program similar to this. We have all taken similar uh, 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 programs. We've all been involved in organizations to learn our culture, and that is the underlying issue, is TUSD is teaching the students their culture, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think that develops leadership, it develops responsible leadership, it, de it develops uh, 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 an education system that allows everyone to be able to, to be successful, and I, I think that's the underlying issue. Uh, I, I would encourage Phoenix Union to have a ethnic studies program. I would encourage uh, Mesa Unified to have an ethnic studies program. I think that we should learn every uh, every different type of culture in this country. We should be inviting yeah. other students and to be part of it. What have you done in your own school district to, to institute an ethnic studies program? Uh, Cartwright Elementary? None. None. I, 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 I really think this is something that the high school students really should be taught. I think we should be welcoming in our high school systems. I really do.